how's it going? This is Marty Kokish and welcome to Marty's Garage. So, um, working on the rear axle today. Um, got it all painted up and stuff, looking nice. I pretty much have everything painted in terms of uh, the suspension pieces that I'm going to be using. So, pretty cool. And uh, But I'm, I'm going to start out with the rear end and uh, um, ordered some some new parts and stuff so uh, I'm only going to be doing a little bit on this tonight but uh, um, I'm just basically going to um, uh, put some gear oil in the uh, in the differential here so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all these bolts so be right back okay it's all apart now I'll just uh, show you real quick so uh, previously when I when I had first taken this off I've already uh, gone through and cleaned up all the gears and stuff. I used a ton of brake cleaner and kind of got rid of the old uh, old gear oil and stuff and cleaned up all the gears and they all seem to be uh, working pretty good. There's not a whole lot of play or anything in here. So um, I've gone ahead and I've uh, used like a razor type uh, deal and uh, I've scraped off all the, the old uh, gasket material that was on there. So um, that's all done and I've gone ahead and I've done the same thing on the uh, the plate here so that's all cleaned up and what I'm going to be using for gasket is I'm just going to use a make your own gasket with this uh, blue silicon stuff so I've got that all done and uh, I guess one thing I'll show you that uh, is kind of maybe unique to the MG's is uh, you know, normally you'd take like a, a half inch drive deal and uh, stick it in here and uh, turn out the filler uh, filler cap deal here, but uh, this is it's kind of a weird size and it tapers um, a little bit in, so um, usually it would just sit right here. So what I've done, gone ahead and done, it's uh, kind of I've uh, used an angle grinder and I just kind of bought one of these just for this and uh, just kind of shaped it so that it works now. So. Um, I'll be filling it, so because to fill it, I'm going to need to take this out. So um, I'm going to wipe this off again and uh, uh, goober it up with the silicone and and throw it on there and uh, start tightening things back up. So be right back. Okay, so I've got it all uh, put back together and stuff. Um, uh, you want to be be kind of careful to stagger the bolts as you torque them down and don't overdo it, I guess too because um, you don't want to squish all that gasket material out of there. So, um, but basically now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fill it up with some gear lube and uh, so I've mounted it, or well I've got it sitting on my saw horses so it's it's nice and flat and level like it would be uh, when it's on the car um, and uh, this is actually a little bit easier than uh, doing it while it's still in the car but uh, um, I've got some 80 to 80, 90 weight uh, gear oil here, and I'm just gonna squirt that in there till it uh, reaches the uh, the plug hole. Um, then I'll kind of wipe off anything that spills over and uh, throw the plug back in, and I'm done. So, but uh, I don't know if your uh, filler plug in your differential is pretty hard to get at. They do make a, it's like a like a hose that screws onto the top of these bottles. So, and even if you can get, I guess. Even if you can get at it, you might not be able to uh, lift it up. You don't have any leverage or anything, so they make like a hose that screws onto the top of there, and then you can kind of uh, get to that a little bit easier. So I'm just going to fill this up, and uh, I'm going to call it a night for now. Um, so uh, that's it um, uh, for today's episode, I guess. So um, any questions and stuff, go ahead and email me at martysgarage at gmail.com. Um, you can watch the show streaming online at www.martoon.net. And uh, you can even follow me on Twitter if you want um, to get updates on the show and stuff. Uh, and that's uh, Twitter slash uh, Marty's Garage. So thanks for watching. Bye.